Hey guys, how y'all doing and welcome back to the, the channel. My name's David and I repair RVs for a living. And today's complaint is that while this RV is plugged into shore, uh, shore power, this battery is not getting any charge you can see right now. We are plugged in and I've got one 12.5 uh, volts here at the battery. Um, let me show you what's going on with the uh, house batteries back here. Okay, so we're still plugged in and the house batteries are getting 13.68 uh, volts. Whereas the chassis battery was only getting 12.5 volts. That tells us that the chassis battery is not charging while we're plugged in. And that's what we're here to fix. Now, while the engine is running, the alternator is able to charge the chassis battery and the house battery at the same time. Uh, right now, it is charging all three batteries. The problem is, though, when we they, what they've got here is they have a, a unidirectional relay. It only allows charge to flow in one direction. So we're going to take out the unidirectional relay and replace it with the bidirectional relay. And so once we're done, we should be able to get charge um, at this chassis battery while she's plugged into shore power and the battery should not go dead again. We will confirm, you know, with, with a meter that, that, that that's what we're getting when I'm done here. So let's get started. Now the relay that we need to get to is actually behind this container. So we're going to take out these three uh, screws first. Hoping I can just move this out of the way without draining it. We'll see. I think that's going to stay there. All right, yeah, my relay that we're looking for is right down there. And this is the relay that we're going to be replacing right here. I think you can see that this old uh, relay here has three wires hooked up to it. We've got a positive, a negative. That's the black and the red, and then this blue comes from the ignition. The new relay is going to, there's going to be four wires on the new relay. And the, that fourth wire is going to be going to the coach uh, battery. Uh, so what I need to do right now is I need to find out which one of these two wires uh, goes to the, the coach and which one is the chassis battery. So I'm going to do a continu continuity test to figure out which wire that actually is. Um, I've got one side of my continuity tester hooked up to the battery. And then I'm just going to touch both of these two terminals down here to figure out which one is, is going to the battery. Let's see, so on this one here, I've got nothing. Let's go back here. Okay, so it's that back one. The back one is the engine battery, the chassis battery. We're going to be adding a new wire to this terminal here. This is the one that's going to the, the coach. This relay has two grounds pigtailed off of it, so I'm going, to, I'm going to cut this black wire close to the relay. That way I can reuse both of the grounds that are, that are existing here. So let's cut this right down here. There we go. I'm going to cut all the uh, wires close to the relay actually. So I'm going to do the positive next. And then this one here, this blue wire is the ignition. There we go. Now I'm just got to take these screws out of here and remove it. You don't actually have to remove this. You can if you want to. This is the old relay that I just r removed. As you can see, it's got three wires on there. Black and red for positive and negative and then blue for ignition. And then this is the new relay that's going in. Basically it wires the same way as the old relay. You can see we've got the ground and we've got the, the ignition. You've got the relay. And the, what we're going to be adding to this is this uh, coach battery. We're going to be adding one more wire right here. Let's get started. Looks like this is about the only location I can put this thing. Um, I was actually hoping to get it close to the relay so I could reuse the wires, but I'm going to have to disconnect those wires and run some new longer wires to this new relay. I'm just using some metal self-tapping screws to attach this box. There we go. Nice. Now this ground wire here actually is long enough, so I'm going to go ahead and put a connector on here. So I'll show you it reaches over to here. I don't know if you can see that. I wish I had a cameraman. We'll go ahead and crimp it. Then you tug on it. Okay. I'm gonna put I've got a heat gun too. These are heat shrink connectors, so I'm gonna shrink this down. 
Nice. Now let's plug it in. Doing this by Braille now. This ignition wire is long enough too. The only one we're going to have to redo is this red one. Um, plus I'm going to make a new one to go onto, onto there. I did remove the relay. I was having a hard time plugging wires into it when it was down there. So I'm going to plug the wires in first and then I'll screw it back in. Trying to plug these in by braille was not easy. Okay, we've got the ground wire done and the ignition wires done. We're going to do the pause, the relay next and then we'll hit this coach battery right after that. So what I've done now is I went ahead and just hooked all my wires up to the relay. I've got a pigtail here. One of these is for the coach battery and one's for the relay. Yeah, now I'm going to screw this back in then I don't have to plug these in by braille. So I made up two ring terminals. Now let's go ahead and put this together. So the relay wire goes on this one. Let's get my nut on there. And then we'll put the coach on this one. Now we just need to torque those down with the socket and then I can test this. I, I think we're done. There we go, nice and tight. Got both of them connected. Well, there's the result we were looking for. 13.36 Three, volts at the chassis battery, while plugged in. All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.